Everything starts with this initial bring your elbow back in or knee back in. One thing that's going to happen a lot is going to take this hand and push on my knee. He's going to take that hand and stuff it back out. Okay. So as soon as he puts his hand on your knee, you're going to grab his wrist. Okay. So I made enough space to get my knee inside, but he he goes and pushes my knee, and I catch his wrist and I push it through. Then you do the exact same thing. You reach over the back, try to keep his arm stuffed across his body. Walk your head underneath. This one's much easier. You can roll the close and move. You just have to make sure that you get some control of their uh, wrist as you do it. So you go back to the first escape we did. I slide my hips away, I bring my knee underneath. He grabs my knee, I grab his wrist. He goes to push my knee through, I push his wrist across, and reach over his back. You don't have to do this super fast. Once you get here, you can take a second to walk yourself out. Right? Just keep control of this wrist across his belly. If he has a gi, you can hold the gi. If he doesn't, you can just hold his wrist and pin it. So your head walks underneath with the body. You'll see, just, if I just continue to walk, it easily falls over. You don't have to use big explosive movements. So, you go to bring your knee inside, go slow it is. He grabs your knee, you grab his wrist. He pushes your knee, you bring your head under, reach over the back, walk your feet. Side. Bring your knee inside. He goes to grab your knee. You grab his wrist. Let him push it. Bring your head under. Reach over the back. Feet on the floor. Right. One, two, three.